I don't know why I said this to God in the spirit last night, but I said it in the spirit. And I was like, God, people are asking, where are you? Where have you been? Where have you gone? Right? And the Lord says, I'm here. I'm right here. And he gave me a scripture, like he gave me a book for you guys. And this is for people who are going through attacks with witchcraft. And a lot of the times you may start feeling weary, especially when you have a specific attacker that is constantly attacking you. It becomes very tiresome. It becomes very overwhelming. God wants you to know that he is there. He is still there. He has not departed from you. He is still there. He is right there. Even when it feels like he's not, he's there. But here's what he told me about the situation. He said he wants you to be patient with him. And I know you're tired of being patient. You're like, God, I've been patient. Be patient. We cannot make sense as to what God is doing. Lean not on your own understanding. God's ways are, are not our ways. God's ways are not our ways. Right? And... Sometimes it's hard to even fathom the amount of attacks you go through because it's like, how can I be going through all of this? Why does it seem like the people who are doing this are getting away with it? They're not getting away with it. They're going to be held accountable. Some of them are actually being held accountable right now. You just don't know what's happening to them, right? People can look happy on the outside and look like things are going well on the outside but they're destroyed within the inside there's things going on behind closed doors god mentioned to me that some of the people that have been attacking you guys are extremely sick extremely sick and i can't really say what the sicknesses are he mentioned one of them there's others too but he mentioned one of them to me and they're extremely sick but it's the hatred, it's the jealousy that is pushing them to continue to do evil. And again, I don't know why God wants us who are experiencing these things to be patient. But that's what he said. He said, be patient. Be patient. Peace is coming and it's around the corner for many of you guys and I know some of you guys were gonna because this is what God told me some of you guys are gonna be like oh you said this last time and I'm still being attacked and you said there was gonna stop, stop attacks were gonna stop and there's gonna be breakthroughs that may not have been your word and why because there's people that have emailed me that have told me that their attackers have died there's people that emailed me that have told me their attacker has stopped because death they faced death there's people that have told me their attackers have stopped because they found God. Everyone's situation is different. Everyone's journey is different. And not everyone is going to, you know, go through revelation or, you know, not everyone's going to receive their vindication at the same time. Everyone's situation is different. Your attacker is not someone else's attacker someone else's mental thoughts someone else's ways may be more evil than someone else's ways so my attacker may be more evil than your attacker so my attacker may take a lot longer to stop than your attacker i'm just using it as an example because they all don't have the same brain their motives are similar but not all of them are the same the way they do things and go about things right so everyone's case is different but for those who are like consistently going through it and they're tired of it and there's like a consistent main attack, attacker, God is going to handle it. He said, be patient with him. Be patient with him. So another thing he said, actually, I'm going to say that after I read this to you. I'm going to read this to you. This is Psalm 13. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day and, and have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy trump over me? 
Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say I have overcome him. And my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been, a, been good to me. God said he is right there. You're like, God, why'd you forget about me? God, why am I still going? God literally said to me in the spirit last night, I'm still here. Because I asked God, I'm like, God, where are you? Where have you gone? For People are asking, where have you gone? I'm saying people as in like you guys who are going through attacks. He said, I'm right here. He is there. He has not left. And then he came through and said, tell them, be patient. Be patient. Be patient. I know it's it's annoying, but please just trust his plans. Just trust it. Don't stop praying. Don't stop fasting. Just trust him. Some of you guys even said to God, God, the enemies might as well just take me out because it seems like they're winning anyway. Some of you guys literally said this. David said the same thing. Not in this this scripture or not in this book. The same book, but not in this scripture. Um, another scripture. I think it was like Psalms seven or four or something like that but he said that but don't think like that everything that is being done is being done for god's greatest good it's being done so you have a testimony right another thing he told me he said he wants you guys to forgive your attackers he really wants you to forgive them from the heart not just saying it out your mouth he really wants you to forgive he does and can I tell you something forgiveness is not I want to know exactly the day and time they're going to die God I want to know when they're going to get their wrath God that's not forgiveness because God doesn't want us to rejoice in that forgiveness means God whatever they're doing to me I surrender and leave it in your hands I forgive them but I will leave everything in your hands. Right? And remember something. God knows the ways of man. He knows the motives. I'm not saying you don't have all right to be angry. I'm not saying you don't have all right to be upset. How could I, someone who's, who goes through attacks, say this to you? I go through attacks too. And best believe I get frustrated too. But I always remind myself to keep my heart pure because God will not vindicate God will not handle a situation if I have a bitter heart if I'm going to glorify someone's downfall I know that me glorifying that is me being no different from my attacker because they glorify trying to make me fall right so because I have that understanding I check my heart every day I send love to my attackers I pray for them I forgive them right and this is why their attempts don't work blessed are the upright in heart in the heart your attackers will consistently taunt you to try to make you turn evil try to make you turn cold that's what they do they want you to be able to be like them they want you to give the enemy an excuse to keep attacking you Satan always looks for an excuse to do what he's doing to you. And if you're blameless, God will fight for you. If you're blameless, God will stop it. God will continue to elevate you. And their goal is to get you from being blameless to being evil. To giving the devil reasonings. Right? David said in Psalms, I forgot which book. I think it's like Psalms 45 or something like that. He said, God, I am blameless. I am blameless. Because he's not doing anything to be attacked. He's literally trying to do the right thing and people are coming for him. That's like many of you guys. Don't let these people turn you cold hearted. God wants you to forgive them. Okay, for your sake. But God also said he will handle them. He will deal with them. He has not left. He said he is right there. Okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.